Hello students, today I will start a new chapter using MailMerge. This is the important feature of Microsoft Word. Now let us see, what is MailMerge? MailMerge is a feature required to send letters with similar information to a number of people who reside at different locations. Say, if you want to send the same letter to number of people, the mail merge is a perfect feature that you can use to send those letters. It saves our time and energy to send letter at multiple addresses. Now, mail merge involves three basic steps. What are they? Number one, creating main document. Means you need to create a letter or any form of document that you want to send into send it to number of people. Second thing is specifying the data source. Data source means you have to create the list of addresses of people to whom you are going to send the letter. Finally, merging the data source with the main document. Finally, what you have to do? The whatever the letters you have written, you have to merge that data with the address that you have created in the data source. So, let us begin. Now, see students, I have created one letter here. Okay, this letter is say about an invitation to my friends to come in my birthday party. So, in this letter, I have not mentioned the address of my friend. I have not mentioned the greeting line of my friend. I have simply started from this particular position. Now, we need to go to the mailing tab here. This is a mailing tab. You can follow the cursor here, mailing tab. And you need to go to start mail merge option. So click on start mail merge. From here, you need to go to step by step mail merge wizard. Once you click on the step by step mail merge wizard, in the right hand side, you will see a floating dialog box. I am talking about this particular area. In this floating dialog box, you have to select the document types like letters, email messages, envelope, anything else. As I am starting a letter, so I need to click on letter. There are six steps. So this is the first step of those six. Now you have to click on starting document. Next that is starting document. Click on starting document. Now what you have to do here, here is it will ask you whether you want to use the current document start from the template or start from the existing document as i am using a current document so i will click on use a current document then comes step two select recipient means i need to create a database now so click here we will move to the third steps now again it will ask you whether to use an existing list, select from Outlook contact or type a new list. As I have not created any of the list of my friend, I will be creating now. So I will click here in type a new list. So click on this radio button. Then you will see one more option here below, create in this area. So click on this create option one dialog box will come new address list dialog box in this new address list dialog box you need to mention the address of your friends to whom you want to send the letter so there are many fields like title first name last name company name address one address two you will get many more things if you move this side like city state zip code country anything else so i'll just use three four fields here so let me type some of the name let me start like say in the first name i have written anup in the last name i have written sarma suppose say company name i have written tij page let me go to the address line one and let me write one address say Pradhanagar and in the address two say 
Siluri. So this is my first recipient list. Now if you need to add another, you have to go to new entry here below. So click on new entry, a new field will come, you can write another name. I just want to create three, three recipient list means I want to create a database for the three of my friends so I will go to new entry again and I will enter one more name here sorry I have written the last name in the same place So in this way, you can enter as many addresses as you want. So just to show you, I have entered the three recipient list and finally I'll click on OK button here. Now it will tell me to save this data in a database. So let me give one name, say any of the names, student and click on save. Now it will show you the list of your friends that you have entered in the database as i have entered only three list so it is showing me three recipient list in the database so finally click on ok now we are in the fourth step now next write your letter as i have already written my letter so i don't want to write the letter again so just simply click here now here you will see two things here one is address box sorry address block and another is greeting line now you need to click on this address block let me click at the top and from here you can choose any of the format how you want to use it and finally click on ok it will not show the address of your friend it will simply show as a address block now second I want to give a greeting line so click on greeting line and you can start with dear this to any of the thing you want and click on ok so these are the two things I have used one is address block and greeting line now my fifth step is preview your letter if you go here you just need to preview the letter how your letters look like so I am clicking here, now I am in step number 5. So your letter looks like this. So this is the address that I have typed, the first address that came in the address block and say this is my greeting line. So this is how your letter looks like. Finally, the last step is to complete the merge. Means whatever the address I have written in the database, I want to merge all those addresses with this letter so let me click on complete the merge now all those addresses has been merged with this letter so finally you can go to edit individual letter from here you can if you don't want to send the letter if you don't want to invite some of your friend you can delete the record from here if you want to invite all click on all radio button and finally click on ok now see how your letters look like this is my letter number one this is my letter number two and this is my letter number three as I have created only three address list so it is showing me three letters that is same letters with three different addresses so in this way we can create a mail merge and we can send a single letter to dif different recipients that we have mentioned it in the database so hope you have understood for today only this much thank you children